Oh my gosh, you guys. So I know I haven't done a video in a while, but it's just been like really, really, really crazy busy just with all my work stuff lately and my volunteer work and my second job that I'm doing. Uh, but this is really weird. I just stumbled across this. This is like a fence with like what looks like a really weird tree trunk attached to it or like a tree trunk growing out of it. And I just noticed it and it almost looks like a face. It almost looks like Elf or something. That'd be weird if the Elf show came back. It was so cheesy, but like it had such the best plot line sometimes. Okay, anyway, but that is not why I'm making this video because something... Okay, and now I'm being interrupted. Why, I tell you, why? <laughs> It's supposed to be all peaceful and ethereal and bucolic back here and a truck's got to belie that notion and interrupt me on the freeway. But anyway, what happened last night was so strange because, so I was feeling a little under the weather last night and I'm watching more I Love Lucy stuff. And as we well know, I Love Lucy is a very Mandela affected show, at least in the one realm of splainin'. And Ricky keeps on saying splain, but she well he says it to other people but he doesn't say it to her and then she makes fun of every other thing he says especially don't no you don't so that's what she's been doing but anyway so i was watching it and i had watched the fourth season and even when i was watching the fourth season i was thinking to myself i don't remember any of these episodes which is weird because considering how much it was on TV when I was a child and considering the fact that when I was in college they would air it almost like back to back for at least one or two hours on the weekend days usually on or around after Mr. Belvedere because they would do Mr. Belvedere and they would do one other sitcom maybe different strokes I don't know but anyway so I'm pretty sure I've seen most of the entire series at least two or three times just with the re-airings and the airings on TV. But so I was watching the fourth season and none of the episodes looked familiar to me. And a part of me was thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I don't remember these episodes being so edgy and, and standing up so well and being so topical and just almost present day feeling, but they kind of were. Up to and including the Gemini one that I told you guys about, eh, probably like my last couple of videos ago. Even the Gemini one seemed a little ahead of its time because it had to do with numerology and astrology and all these sort of taboo s subjects. And back then you were in 1950s Christian America. But in any case, so I'm watching, so I was watching the fourth season and then I went back because I wanted to start it proper and watch the season from the beginning and see if I can find you got some explaining to you do. Because if anybody's going to find it, it's going to be me if somebody else hasn't already found it. So I'm watching, let's see, I watched the first two DVDs and I didn't recognize any of the episodes. Like none of them really felt all that familiar to me. And it wasn't one of those things where you're watching it and you don't really remember it first, but then you remember remembering it. Plus they say every time you have a memory, you're basically remembering the last time you remembered it. So I'm watching it and I watched the first two DVDs of the first season. They didn't ring a bell, although they did have one really, really cool episode. The first episode was really cool. Their apartment was so cool. And that was the lost episode and they included that in the first DVD. It was like this really cool penthouse apartment with an actual backdrop of the city. And I always found the sets, well, for the first few seasons of I Love Lucy where before she moved to California to be a little anticlimactic. Although I liked when they finally got that window. Okay, I'm being sidetracked. But anyway, so the first two DVDs, none of those episodes rang a bell to me and then the first episode on the third DVD wasn't real familiar to me either. But then every other episode on the third DVD, I totally remembered and I totally recognized. And not only that, but these episodes were so campy and it was like such old school humor. It was like the kind of humor where a man in the community would think that Lucy was attracted to him when really she was trying to set him up with somebody else and he would chase her around the couch and be like no no this is bigger than the both of us Lucy don't you see 
don't deny it. You know, just that old school, like icky sort of like no means yes, da 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 kind of thing. And then there was this other episode where Lucy had to get a job to pay for a dress. So she got a $5 babysitting job and they brought these two boys over to her house. They looked like twins, but they weren't. And they were just the brattiest kids. And when they didn't get their way, they would kick her in the shin and all this other kind of stuff. And it's just such old school campy comedy. And I didn't laugh at either one of those episodes. And there were actually two episodes where the guy would chase Lucy around the couch and be like, oh, come here. And one was a French guy. He reminded me of Pepe Le Pew. Although the one with the French guy wasn't so familiar to me. But it's also strange, too, because they were separated, both of these episodes, with the guy chasing Lucy going, mm, mm, mm. oh, I love you so much. And she's like, no, no. And he's like, no, I want you. Don't deny it. I know you're just playing hard to get or whatever. I'm going off on a tangent. But they had two of those types of themed episodes almost back to back. Like there was only one or two episodes dividing the two, which is also kind of strange when you think of just like storylines and repetitiveness and blah, 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 blah. So it was a really weird and, but it was just so campy. Like they weren't funny to me. They weren't edgy to me. They were very stereotypical as comedy went. And all these other unremembered episodes felt really really edgy and like they went places and the sets were even intricate too because in season four they went on a road trip and this is what I love about the I Love Lucy show because they would move from set to set from apartment to apartment they wouldn't even stay in the same state because they moved from New York to California when Ricky's movie career took off and I just thought that was so cool and innovative but anyway oh wow that was so creepy I thought I heard somebody coming through that, that's not even a walkway. That's just creepy, man. And then I also heard this weird, like, almost alarm type sound back there. And this is a very, like, not high-tech place. But this place here, it looks like Sleepy Hollow, which I love. But it's so creepy. But it's also very dry, too, because California. Anyway, so my last point was, was that it just seemed very edgy to me. Um, all the episodes I had been watching. And this one episode was when they went on a road trip from... New York to California and it was so cool because they stopped at all these places and one of these places was this creepy like hotel and every time they would try and sleep a train would pass it and the whole hotel room would shake and they would have to move these beds and it was just really really innovative and then they tried to leave the hotel in the middle of the night and the creepy guy who ran it stole their steering wheel and then an alarm went off and it just felt very big brotherish to me so I wouldn't say it was shocking but I was like wow I just don't remember them being so innovative. So anyway, my point is, is if you guys remember that episode or if you remind, or if you remember them being more edgy and innovative in their comedy, exploring storylines that maybe weren't so popular in the day, just let me know. Um, or just let me know if you've gone back and watched a TV show only to find out that it wasn't at all the way you remember. You don't remember certain episodes. Because I love Lucy, man. She was ubiquitous. I just can't believe that so far in watching it, I've only mem remembered like three or four of those episodes out of like how many have I watched? I think I probably watched about maybe like at least 40 episodes, 45. And out of those, I only remember about four. So anyway, good to talk to you guys again. I'm gonna try and be making some more videos. Been a little under the weather this week and also working, 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 but it's all good. And this tree thing's growing out of this fake fence. I don't even know why they have here. It's just so weird to me. This looks like a Hollywood set in and of itself. Or an I Love Lucy set, if it got really edgy and weird. The creepy guy walking down towards Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> all right, that's about all. Peace out.